is Putin, quote, disrespecting the Prophet Muhammad is not freedom of expression. I saw this news and I was like, plot twist. I was not expecting this. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, on December 23rd, during an annual news conference in Moscow, Russia, uh, in, in Moscow, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin stated that disrespectful comments towards the Prophet Muhammad could not be considered freedom of expression. He added that such remarks are, quote, a violation of religious freedom and the violation of the sacred feelings of those who profess Islam. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan praised Putin for his remarks regarding the Prophet. Khan said, we Muslims, especially Muslim leaders, must spread this message to leaders of the non-Muslim world to counter Islamophobia. These comments from Putin came weeks before a meeting with Pakistani National Security Advisor Dr. Moeed Yusuf. The agenda of this meeting is to discuss topics such as Russia's economic ties with Central Asian states, security after Afghanistan's Taliban takeover, and the role of Russia in improving regional connectivity and economic integration. Strongman Putin submits to Islam. Speaking of like... <laughs> 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 now speaking of people who don't understand free speech like look at this disrespecting prophet muhammad is not freedom of expression why yes it is what why why not i don't understand how is this not freedom of expression he so basically is, like, he basically was like saying that these sorts of things he made like the victim blaming blaming argument that is very common like oh these things provoke people to be sensitive and he gave charlie abdo as an example and like we shouldn't be crass and like i've spoken out against charlie abdo before like that kind of thing i mean okay look at this violation of religious freedom religious freedom bitch these are words they're just words which one of what freedom are you losing? Look, here, look, 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 just watch this, okay? Fuck Muhammad. What <laughs> freedom did I take away from you? How did your freedom, what happened to your freedom when I said that? Like violating- Because you hurt violation? my feelings. Okay, but did you become less free? It said violation of religious freedom. What freedom did I, did, was lost? Okay, like I'm I'm look I'm 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 seriously asking, okay? I'm not even joking, okay? Let's just try to steal in this, okay? As a religious person, what freedom did you lose when I said fuck Muhammad? Like, how did you become before and after I said that? How did you become less free? Violation of like you're seriously taking you know, you're saying this is not freedom of expression. So what does this mean when somebody says this is a, not a freedom of expression? It means that you're not free to say this. When somebody says that this is not a freedom of expression, so you're literally taking my freedom away because you're think you're feeling less free when I utter words. Bitch, these are just words. They're just sound waves in the air. They don't cuff your hands together. They don't put you in prison. They don't stop you from worshiping your Allah. They don't stop you from going to a fucking mosque. They don't do any of that. It's just sounds coming out of my mouth. It doesn't do anything. You don't even have to listen. Guys, I'm not even saying like it doesn't have to offend you. Okay. Maybe it offends you. Maybe it hurts you. But it's not like I'm forcing you to listen. Like, like it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be hurtful. You could just literally not watch a video when somebody says fuck Muhammad. I really don't understand. A violation of the sacred feelings of people. Okay, guys, I'm going to take your feelings very seriously. Okay, I'm not even going to make fun of you for like, oh, your sensitive feelings. Okay, you're hurt by it. Then I'm not going to impose them on you. All right? Like, you know what? I'm going to respect your feelings. I'm going to take your feelings very seriously. Therefore, I will never tell say fuck Muhammad to somebody who doesn't want to hear fuck Muhammad. Okay, you're never gonna hear like if if I'm in, in in the presence of somebody that doesn't want to hear that, I'm not gonna say it. You have to come to me to hear that. Okay, so I'm not even going as far as saying like, oh, fuck your feelings. No, no, your feelings are important. I care about your feelings. I don't want you to be hurt. Okay, I don't want you to be upset. Your feelings are important. Your religious freedom is important. 
your religious freedom is important to me. I want you to be able to worship whenever you want. I want you to be able to pray to Allah, do all your religion, all the religious mumbo jumbo that you like. I want you to be able to free to do all of that. But how is my freedom? How is me speaking threatening any of that? It's not like this. This is insane. This is insane. How is this not a freedom of expression? Like, what is the argument? I don't understand. The world. Well, is insane. you are, you know, in impinging upon my ability to be free from offense, sir. No, okay. I'm you're saying that as a joke, okay? I'm actually no, but taking that like, seriously. Yeah. But even even if you want to take that seriously, okay? Even if you demand to be free from getting offended, even if that's a thing, okay? Then yes, I would respect that. Nobody should imp like impose their insult on religion on you. You should be able to close this video. You should be able to click you know, there you see there's a button X at the your browser tab or whatever on your phone. Like just just click it. Just close. Close. And don't listen, you know. E easy. Easy. Wasn't it Salman Rushdie said that the easiest thing to do about a book that you're offended by is just don't read it? <laughs> like you don't have to you don't have to tell the writer not to publish it. You could just not read it. <laughs> That's oh, what this the is judge said to the lawyer who tried to sue Facebook over our Facebook page. The right. judge literally said to this lawyer who was trying to take us down, saying, you sought out this information and then chose to be offended by it. You cannot yeah, exactly. view this content. <laughs> you you, you don't have to. No, you're completely right. right. Yeah. No, go ahead. I just thought this was so fascinating coming from Putin, you know, like not, uh, you know, uh, uh, known for his... Uh, you know, freedom of expression, promoting it, not known for promoting religious freedom, not known for his treatment of, uh, you know, minorities, let alone Muslim minorities. I was like, what the heck? So that's why our, um, the writer for our article, he brought this other aspect to my attention about all these economic ties that they're building in Pakistan right now. And I'm like, oh, that that has to be what's playing in the background is they're budding or trying to deepen their yeah. relationship with Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Let's so just actually be very be let's actually be very clear. You're right. Um, Putin is not a moron. Like we're going, we're acting like, oh, he's such an idiot. He doesn't understand free freedom of expression. Okay, this is this is actually pretty smart. Okay, a lot of times people assume that when politicians say dumb shit, it's because they're dumb. But most of the time, they're not very dumb. They're not dumb. They're actually they're they're appealing to dumb people, <laughs> right? And this is work. This is going to work very well. Dumb or powerful well for people, or both. Like, okay, a lot of people just appreciate strong, powerful leaders, right? So no matter how against their ideology they are, like you're like, oh, China strong, Russia strong, Putin strong man. Oh my, this is why a lot of uh, Muslims um, <laughs> celebrated Chinggis Khan back in the day, even though he was like just wiping up Islam, like just like destroying Islamic land. They were like, ah, so I impressed by him, like he's so strong, must be a great man. And then the heads would get chopped off, right? Like, but but like they oh, would just be God. like, not, like it's not. I'm not talking about Muslims. It's just people throughout history. They just have this fascination with just like strong powerful men they just like something godlike about them right so i am a lot of you know people just want to find a way to like putin putin like acts like an alpha male strong man that like says like stands against like um weak biden or something or united states or something they want to celebrate him and like this is just such an easy soft power way of getting into like pakistan and afghanistan just give them this. This it doesn't cost you anything. Like imagine the mark, the way that you op you're opening the door to getting the population in Pakistan to pressure to be able to give the green light to the civil government to pave the way for Russia to come in. You could just use just be like, oh, it's not freedom of expression to insult Muhammad, and you basically just got millions and millions of dollars worth worth of free pr within the population of pakistan just by uttering one phrase like and you people in pakistan are like oh my god and and yeah imran khan is just like taking opportunity like because the, the international relationships are very important right now to pakistan right especially because of the internal they threats. need it bad they, 
they need like some like yeah, support from China and some from Russia, right? So they like Imran Khan is jumping on that, like yes, yes, like look at look at the pocket Pakistani people, look, 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 yeah, can we like look at how amazing this is gonna build up, make it very easy to build ties with uh, Russia, right? And so this is very it's stupid and genius at the same time. It's stupid because I mean. It's like con a contradiction. It's a stupid argument, genius, strategic move. Yes, exactly. Yes, perfect. You said it better than I could. Anyways, anything we want to highlight from the live chat while I get the next news? Let me look briefly. <laughs> when you were saying that everyone want, has this obsession with strong men and they see Putin as this strong guy, oh, what came into my mind was those photoshopped images of him shirtless riding a bear like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look at the Russian power. <laughs> mm, people are so, oh my God. It's just like, I think it's just, it's in our DNA. To want like to want like like look for alpha like kind of figure like as a leader as a hero. Well, there are studies savior. on this. People feel more of a proclivity towards authoritarianism, especially in situations of fear. And yeah, most of human history has been characterized by scarcity, hardship, uncertainty, which all breeds fear. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Russia is the weakest it has ever been, right? And people assume this like this image of strength coming from Russia, and it's yet, yet it's path pathetically weak compared to its history. Um, yeah, and it's never going to become a superpower again. India has a bigger chance of becoming one day a superpower than Russia. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.